Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make your very own La Caterina wall hanging, inspired by the Mexican celebration Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos. If you think this pattern looks intimidating, don't worry, I'll take you through it step by step. You can use whichever colours you want, but as a guide I have used a mixed grey yarn for the backing, a teal colour for the eye decoration and detailing, sparkle black yarn for the hair, sparkle blue yarn for the detailing, black yarn for the eyes, hair and detailing. I've used cream yarn for the head and neck, green and white yarn for the eyes, and a burnt orange for the lips. And sparkle red yarn for the neckline, red and dark red for the hat, and a bright red for the flowers. You will also need stuffing and a measuring tape, six plain black 8mm safety eyes, stitch markers, a sewing needle, 4mm crochet hook, and some scissors. To create the wall hanging, you'll want two bamboo sticks approximately 40 to 45 centimetres long. But you'll need this at the end so it won't stop you from starting. You can buy a one metre bamboo stick in any garden centre and you just need to cut it into two. We will begin with the backing and we want to first decide how many chains you want to use. With the measuring tape we want to make the width of our work between 27 and 30 centimetres. Depending on your gauge you may use 45 or 50 chains to get to the length. Maybe more, maybe less. Everyone's gauge is different. Remember to add an extra chain for your turn. So starting with a slip knot, we will chain 46 or 51 to get to that length. And before we start the next row, we'll just check that it is over 27 and under 30. And when you're happy with that, we'll start on the second row. So we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then we're going to single crochet in the next 44. Okay, we're going to turn our work in chain one and just double check that it is still between 27 and 30 centimetres. We're now going to single crochet back and forth for 100 rows or when the piece measures approximately 40 centimetres. But we do have the opportunity at the end to add more rows if we wanted to. This part takes the longest time but it is the easiest aspect to the entire pattern. So I would advise you to save this piece and do it in front of the TV or on your train journeys. Once you have completed this part, double check the measurements and if you have fallen short, don't worry because we can add the stitches to the sides and the top and the bottom. We won't tie off and we want to keep the extra yarn for later, so we'll set this aside for now. We'll start on the head now and in cream yarn we're going to create a slip knot and we're going to chain 17. So we're now going to do two single crochets in the second chain from the hook. And then we're going to single crochet in the next 14. And then we'll do two single crochets in that last stitch there. We'll then turn our work and then we'll chain one. We'll then do two single crochets in the next stitch. And then single crochet in the next 16. Then we'll do two single crochets in the next stitch. Okay, we're going to turn our work and chain one. We're now just going to single crochet in each stitch. Okay, we'll then turn our work and chain one. Now I'm going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. I'm going to single crochet in the next 18. Then 
I'm going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. Turn our work and chain one. Over again, we're going to single crochet in each stitch. Now we're going to turn our work and chain one. Now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next 20. Now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. Turn our work and chain one. We're now going to single crochet in each stitch. Turn our work and chain one. We're now going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next 22. Now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. Turn our work and chain one. For the next 10 rows, we're now going to single crochet in each stitch. Okay, we're now going to single crochet two together. And then we're going to single crochet in the next 22. And then we're going to single crochet two together. We'll turn our work and chain one. We're now going to single crochet two together. Single crochet in the next 20. Single crochet two together. Turn our work and chain one. Now we're going to single crochet in the next 22. Turn our work and chain one. We're now going to single crochet three together. We're going to single crochet in the next 16. And then single crochet three together. Turn our work and chain one. For the next two rows, we're going to single crochet in the next 18. We're now going to single crochet three together. And then single crochet in the next 12. Now we're going to single crochet three together. Turn our work and chain one. For the next two rows, we're going to single crochet in each stitch. Now we're going to single crochet three together, single crochet in the next eight, and then single crochet three together. We'll turn our work and chain one. We're going to single crochet in each stitch. Turn our work and chain one. 
We're now going to single crochet three together. And then we're going to single crochet in the next four. And then we're going to single crochet three together. I'm going to turn our work and chain one. We're now going to single crochet three together twice. And we're going to turn our work and chain one. And then we're going to single crochet two together in this last one. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet around the edge. Okay, so we're going to chain one. And as we don't have the stitches to go into, we'll just go into the gaps that we do have all the way around. And for the following three rows that we're going to do, we're going to just going to single crochet in those stitches that we've created here. Okay, so I'll meet you back here when you've done four rows all the way around. And in your final stitch, we'll chain one and then we'll tie off. And as you can see, we have given our head a 3D effect. Now for the next stage of the head, we want to count 60 stitches from the top left to the top right. We're going to create a horseshoe shape with our black yarn under the chin to make the base of the hair. And we're going to crochet back and forth on this horseshoe shape. So having created a slip knot on your hook, we're going to go into the front loops. And we're going to half double crochet all the way around in the 60 stitches. So half double crocheting just in the front loops. I'm just going to finish up those last two stitches here, still in the front loops. We're then going to turn our work and chain one. We're now going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch and then half double crochet in the next three. And we're going to do this 15 times all the way around to get to the end. I do appreciate it, it is quite hard to uh, crochet in black yarn but that's the uh, nature of the beast unfortunately. So in this last stitch here, we're now going to turn our work and chain one. So we're going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next four, And we'll do this 15 times. Okay, we're now going to turn our work and chain one. And this last row, we're going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch. And then we're going to half double crochet in the next five. We'll do this 15 times again. Okay, and we're now going to tie off here and we're going to leave a very long piece of excess yarn so we can use that to sew our piece to the backing. So now we've made the head we need to give this lady some features. So we're going to start with the left eye and in black yarn we're going to make a magic ring and we're going to put four single crochets into that magic ring.
So we're now going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. We're going to do one single crochet in the next. And before we complete the stitch, we're going to change to green yarn. And in that same stitch that you've gone into, we're going to single crochet again. Continuing in green yarn, we're going to single crochet twice in the next two stitches. And in this last stitch, we're going to hold it there and we're going to change it back to black. So you can either carry the colour with you if you wanted to, or you can just trim it here and then add it in. Feel free to pop a stitch marker in just so you can know where the row is starting and finishing. Okay, so we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. one single crochet in the next two single crochets in the next stitch and in this last stitch we'll hold it there and we're going to change to white now we can carry this black yarn with us so I'll quickly just change this stitch to white so in the next, so we're going to carry this black yarn with us. In the next stitch we're going to single crochet in one. And now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. Carrying that black yarn with us. Single crochet in the next. And I'll repeat that, so two single crochets in the next stitch. and then single crochet in that last one there. And we're going to hold it there and we're going to change our yarn to black again. Okay, so now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next two. And we're going to do that four times all the way around the eye. Okay, continue and we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch and then a single crochet in the next three and we'll do that four times. So we're now going to slip stitch in the next three. We're going to single crochet in the next three. And now we're going to half double crochet in the next four. In the fourth stitch here, we're going to hold it there and we're going to change to teal, the teal yarn. And we're now going to single crochet all the way around. As we come to that last stitch, we're going to slip stitch in the first stitch that we did of the teal yarn and we'll tie off, leaving a long piece of yarn so we can sew that onto the head. So we're going to get the white piece of yarn and just we're going to sew a small piece near the centre of the black part of the eye to add a realistic eye effect. So 
So now we've made that eye, we'll set that aside so we can start on the right eye. So in black yarn again, we're going to create a magic ring and do four single crochets into that magic ring. But in this last stitch, we're going to hold it there and we're going to change to green before we even close the magic ring. Okay, so pull that tight. So with a green yarn attached now, we'll start the new row by doing two single crochets into the next two stitches. We're going to carry that black yarn with us. Okay, we're now going to single crochet in the next stitch. But before we complete that stitch, we're going to change back to black yarn. And in that same stitch that we've been into, we're going to single crochet. Now we're going to do two single crochets in that last stitch. But before we complete this one, we'll change to white yarn. Okay, so we're now going to do a single crochet in the next stitch. We're going to do two single crochets in the next. And then a single crochet in the next stitch. We'll do that twice. So two single crochets in the next. And then another single crochet. Okay, and as I forgot to carry the black yarn with me, I will just trim that black yarn. And join and complete that stitch. So now in black yarn, we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. Then go to single crochet in the next, two single crochets in the next stitch, and then we're going to continue on that next row, two single crochets in the next stitch, and then single crochet in the next two. I'm going to do that four times all the way round. Okay, so now we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. Then single crochet in the next three. And we'll do that four times. So we're now going to slip stitch into that next stitch. And we're going to turn our work. We're going to chain one, and then we're going to slip stitch in the next three. Then going to single crochet in the next three. And then half double crochet in the next four. And in that last stitch, we'll change to teal. 
and then we're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, and because you jump up a bit, we're just going to go straight into the top stitch there. And that should get rid of that um, pointy bit, so it should just be a natural curve now. Okay, and in that final stitch, we're going to slip stitch in the first stitch we've did, and then we'll tie off. And we'll do the same for the right eye as we did for the left. And add that small little detail. And there you have two eyes. So now for the lips in burnt orange, we'll create a slip knot. And we're going to chain 11. We're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then single crochet in the next two. We're then going to half double crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to double crochet in the next two. Then we'll half double crochet in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next three. We're then going to turn our work and chain one. We're then going to single crochet in the next two. We're then going to single crochet two together. And then single crochet in the next two and we'll do that twice. So single crochet two together. And then single crochet in the next two. Then turn our work and chain one. We're now going to single crochet two together. We'll then half double crochet in the next four. And then single crochet two together. We're now going to chain three. We're going to single crochet in the second chain and then we're going to half double crochet in the third chain. So now we're going to go on the underside of the lip and we're going to slip stitch all the way across. So you're basically going into the bottom part of the chain that we did for the first row. Okay, and once you've got to the end, we're going to chain three. And then we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then half double crochet in that third chain. Then we're going to go back to the top of the lip. And in the stitch, we'll just slip stitch in the next nine. Okay, so we'll go right to the end there of the lip and then we're going to tie off, leaving a long piece of yarn so we can attach the lip to the head later. And 
So now what we need is a nose. So the easiest part, we're going to create a slip knot in black yarn and we're going to chain 30 and then we're going to tie off. So now we can start sewing all the features on. So to place the eyes I've counted four rows down from the top of the face and the top of the eye should rest below that fourth row. We'll start by sewing the black part of the eye on. When positioning the second eye, make sure it is an eye width across and level with the other eye. Once the eyes are fixed in place, we can now sew the outer rim of the eye on, just to give it a neater edge. For the lips, I have counted three rows from the bottom, so the bottom part of the lip should rest on top of the third row. I would sew through the middle first and then sew around the edge of the lips. The nose is tricky to position and there'll be a lot of trial and error, but if you start by securing one end just beneath the right eye, you can then sew down towards the right nostril. It took me a while to get the placement correctly. But this is just an idea of how you might want to do the nose. You can do your nose in a different way if you wanted to. And don't pull too tight either because that could um, ruin the alignment of the stitch. Okay, so we're going to the right nostril, down towards the septum, across to the left nostril. And then you're working your way up back underneath that left eye. We are now going to sew some decoration onto the forehead. You can do whichever design you like or you can copy my simple swirls. Okay, we can now pop our safety eyes on, just around the edges of the eye. Make sure they're evenly positioned. When you're happy, then we'll secure the backs. And now in black yarn, we can start stitching up the mouth. Now that her face is complete, we can place it on the backing. The bottom of the black edge should be approximately 12 to 13 stitches from the bottom. So the black part onto the backing and just underneath the chin. We'll continue sewing up on that line between the black and the cream and make sure that the face is protruding at a suitable angle. When you come to sewing the outer edge, you can use it to help form the waves of the hair down the sides of the face. When we come to do the hair strands later, it will sit nicely upon these waves and just sort of give it a bit more volume. Okay, the piece underneath the chin, that should remain flat because we want to put the neck and the shoulders down there. 
So we're going to make it wavy down the sides of the face, flat under the chin, and then wavy up again under there. But we will actually go up underneath the face and secure the face first before we do the waves on the right hand side. Okay, so we'll start by sewing down the outer edge, sewing the piece underneath the chin flat. We'll come in and secure the face on the jawline and then come back down. Okay, we can now add the stuffing now that the face is secure. We don't want to overstuff or understuff, so try and get a decent balance. We'll leave the top part open because we still need to add the hat on the top. We can now start on the neck, so in cream yarn we'll create a slip knot and we're going to chain 11. We're then going to half double crochet in the second chain from the hook, half double crochet in the next nine. And now turn our work and chain one, half double crochet in the next stitch for the next four rows. Okay, and on that sixth row, we're going to turn our work and chain one. And I'm going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch. And then we're going to do half double crochet in the next eight. And in that last stitch, we're going to do two half double crochets. And from here, we're now going to chain seven. Okay, and in that second chain from the hook, we're going to half double crochet. And we're going to half double crochet all the way across in the next 17. We'll just half double crochet in that last stitch there, and we're going to again at chain at seven. Now we're going to half double crochet in the second chain from the hook, and then half double crochet in the next 23. We'll turn our work and chain one. And in the next two rows, we're just going to half double crochet in each stitch. Okay, and in that last stitch, we're just going to tie off. Leave a long piece of yarn so we can sew that to the backing. Now for the neckline, we're going to use our red sparkle yarn. We're going to create a slit knot and we're going to chain 32. In the second chain from the hook, we're going to do a single crochet and then we're going to single crochet in the next 30. We're going to turn our work and chain one. We're now going to slip stitch in the next stitch, and then going to chain three. We're going to skip two stitches, and we'll slip stitch in the next stitch, and we do that ten times all the way across. So we chain three, skip two stitches, and then slip stitch in the next stitch all the way across.
Okay, we're now going to turn our work and chain one. Now in the gaps, we are going to work some stitches in. So we're going to slip stitch, we're going to double crochet, we're then going to treble crochet, and in the top of this treble crochet you'll see that there's a little gap there. So we're going to get our hook and we're going to create a slip stitch in that gap. Okay. So now we're going to do another treble crochet. We're going to do a double crochet. And then we're going to do a slip stitch all in the same gap. Okay, then we're going to move on to the next gap. We're going to go straight in with a slip stitch, a double crochet, a treble crochet, and then in that gap we're going to put a slip stitch in, another treble crochet, back down to the double crochet, and finally a slip stitch. So we're going to do that same pattern all the way across in those 10 loops, okay? Okay, we'll now tie off. And as you can see, you've made your nice sparkly neckline. So we can now attach the neck and the neckline underneath the face onto the backing. And we're going to tuck that top part of the neck right up underneath the face so there's no black to be seen. Now that the neck is secure, we can attach the neckline. Keep it close to the bottom of the neck so there is no backing showing beneath. And only fix the top part, not the loops. Let those hang loose. We need to keep the bottom stitches of the backing free to add more stitches to later. We can now start on the hair. So we're going to create a slip knot in the black sparkle yarn and we're going to chain 61. Okay, we're now going to half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and then we're going to half double crochet in the next 59. After this last stitch, we're now going to tie off and we'll leave a long piece of excess yarn so we can sew the hair to the head. So we want to make 20 strands of hair in all varying lengths. So we want 10 strands made up of 60, 4 of 40 and 6 of 25. Okay, we're now going to make two flowers to decorate the hair. So in black yarn, we're going to create a magic ring and we're going to put six half double crochets into that magic ring. We're now going to do two single crochets in each stitch. In that last stitch, we'll hold it there and we're going to change to our bright red yarn. So in the next stitch we're going to do a slip stitch. We're then going to chain three and in that same stitch we're going to do two treble crochets.
in the same stitch we're going to do a quadruple crochet so that's an extra turn around the hook okay we're then going to chain two we're going to single crochet in that second chain from the hook now we're going to go into the next stitch we're going to do another quadruple crochet We're then going to do two treble crochets into that next stitch. We're then going to chain three and then we're going to go back into that stitch and slip stitch. Okay, so we're going to do that five more times around to make six petals. Okay, so I'll show you one more time. So we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch, going to chain three, going to do two treble crochets into that same stitch. one quadruple crochet we're then going to chain two single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then going into the next stitch we're going to do another quadruple crochet into there I'm going to do two treble crochets into that same stitch. Okay, we're going to chain three and then slip stitch back into that stitch to complete the petal. Okay, and we're going to repeat that all the way round. And with that flower complete, we're then just going to tie off. And we want to make two of those. We are now ready to attach the hair. Evenly dividing the hair for both sides, I am starting by attaching the longer strands first. Now I have sewn them on in a wavy style which gives the hair more body. Don't sew the entire strand down as we want the bottom part to curl and dangle down onto the shoulders. Once you're finishing attaching the longer pieces you can see that the strands are just sitting gently onto the shoulders and you can actually just curl them naturally yourself. Just by twisting the strands they'll naturally just sit For the shorter strands, we'll simply sew them into the top part of the head at the side. Once you are happy with what you've just done on that side, we'll then try and mirror it and do the same on the other side. Remember to twist your strands so then you've got the natural curls just resting on the shoulders. And don't forget to add your flowers. We're now going to begin on the top part of the hat. In red yarn, we're going to create a slip knot and then chain 21. We're then going to half double crochet in the second chain. Then we're going to half double crochet in the next 19. We're then going to turn our work and chain one. And then we're going to half double crochet in each stitch for the next six rows.
Okay, and once you've done those rows, we're going to half double crochet two together. And then we're going to half double crochet in the next 16. And then we're going to half double crochet two together in those last two stitches. We're going to turn our work and chain one. And I'm going to half double crochet two together, half double crochet in the next 14. And I'm going to half double crochet two together. Turn our work and chain one. Now we're going to half double crochet two together, half double crochet in the next 12, and then half double crochet two together. We're going to turn our work and chain one. We're now going to half double crochet three together. Half double crochet in the next eight. And then half double crochet three together. We'll turn our work and then we'll chain one. Half double crochet three together. Half double crochet in the next four. And then half double crochet three together. And we aren't going to turn our work now. We're just going to chain one. And now we're going to slip stitch all the way around the edge of the hat. Okay, we're just going to tie off here, leaving a long strand because we're going to need that to sew the hat onto the backing. So in that same red, we're now going to do the hat brim. So we're going to do a slip knot and chain 46. We're then going to half double crochet in the second chain, and then half double crochet in the next 44. Then going to turn our work and chain one. We're now going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch, and then half double crochet in the next ten. Okay, and we're going to do that four times. Okay, and then we're going to do two half double crochets in that last stitch. We're going to turn our work and chain one. Now we're going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch. 
half double crochet in the next 16 I'm going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch. We're going to half double crochet in the next 14. I'm going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch. And then half double crochet in the next 16. And then two half double crochets in that last stitch there. We're going to turn our work and chain one. So now we're going to go into the front loops only and we're going to single crochet in the next two. We're going to chain three, we're going to skip one and then we're going to single crochet in the next three just in the front loops. Okay, so again, we're going to chain three, skip one, and then a single crochet in the next three in the front loops. And we're going to do that 13 times in total. Okay, in that last stitch we're going to turn and then we're going to chain one. Now we're going to slip stitch in the next three. And now we're going to go into our gaps. So we're going to slip stitch. We're going to single crochet. Now we'll half double crochet. Double crochet. half double crochet, single crochet, and then slip stitch. We're now going to slip stitch in the next three stitches. And we're going to repeat that again. So in the gap, we're going to slip stitch we're going to single crochet, we'll then half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, single crochet, oops, <laughs> single crochet, and slip stitch. And then the slip stitch in the next three stitches. Okay, and so we're getting that nice little wave. And we're going to do that all the way across. And here we're going to pause for a moment. We'll get our stitch marker and just secure our work there. So now in the dark red yarn, we're going to find the leftover back loops. And then we're going to join with a double crochet. And here we're going to double crochet all the way across in those back loops. These are the back loops that we created in row 5 when we went into the front loops. So the back loops were left for us to now go into. Okay. 
We're now going to turn our work and chain two. And now we're going to do another row of double crochet. So double crocheting in the next 54 stitches. Okay, and we're going to do that last stitch here, and then we're going to tie off. So we're going to return to our red yarn, take our stitch marker out. We're now going to chain three. We'll turn our work, and we're going to go into the dark red yarn. So we're going to single crochet in three. We're now going to go into the next stitch and then also go into the topmost stitch on that curve. Okay, so again we're going to single crochet in the next three in the dark red yarn and in that fourth we're going to go into the dark red yarn and also into that top stitch of that semicircle there I think it's the double crochet stitch so again single crochet in three and then in that fourth one you join the two stitches together Okay, and we're going to turn our work, and as you can see we've made a beautiful wave effect on the brim of the hat. We're going to chain one, and then we're going to half double crochet in the next 54. We're then going to turn our work, we're going to chain three, single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, single crochet in the next stitch, and so on and so forth. So we're just chaining three and then single crocheting. I'm going to make that nice little ripple effect on the top of the hat. Now that we've made the brim of the hat, we can add some detail onto the bottom part. I've used the till yarn that we used to border the eyes. You can make your own embellishment or feel free to copy my pattern. Now to attach the hat onto the main piece, we will sew the lower part of the hat onto the top of the face, whilst also sewing it into the backing. This will stop any stuffing in the face coming adrift. We will now sew around the edges of the hat. We want to add stuffing, so allow the hat to bulge out slightly. Leave a small gap to add the stuffing. And now we will sew it closed. With that done, we can now attach the brim of the hat. 
I would suggest folding the sides of the hat and attaching it next to the top part of the hat. Once both sides are fixed, we can now sew the bottom part of the brim into the forehead and the hair. And the wall hanging is almost complete. Before we get carried away with the final touches of the wall hanging, I shall show you how to make a simple hanging cord. I have chosen a red sparkle yarn and the dark red. We will create a double layered slip knot. We will dangle the darker red yarn down and hold the red sparkle yarn as we normally would. We are going to chain one with the sparkle yarn, wrap the dark red yarn over your hook, yarn over and pull through the red sparkle yarn through the two loops on the hook. Again, we'll wrap the dark red yarn over the hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through the red sparkle yarn. And we're going to repeat this all the way to the end. So it's such a simple, easy pattern to follow. So we want to make about 75 centimetres worth of cord. Okay, and once you've reached 75 centimetres, we'll then tie off. We'll knot the two ends together like so and then it'll be ready to hang on the back of the hanger when we're ready. If you wanted a shorter hanger then just add a knot to shorten the loop. Now for the final part of the wall hanging I would suggest you watch the next few steps before you get started so you can look ahead and see what to expect. We're going to return to the stitch marker holding our yarn in place for the backing. Now if you're at the top or bottom of your work it doesn't really matter. If you feel like you want to add more rows, now is a good opportunity. As I am at the bottom of my wall hanging and I don't want to add any extra rows, I am now going to attach my first bamboo stick. So we will chain three and the idea is that we want to half double crochet all the way across whilst also incorporating the bamboo stick. So we will yarn over, insert into the next stitch, bring the bamboo stick underneath the yarn and we will then yarn over and pull through the stitch. The yarn should then bring the stick in close to the work. Okay, so I'm going to try that again. I'm going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through and complete that stitch. So we're basically doing very loose half double crochets around that bamboo stick. And we're going to do that all the way along and now we've got the bamboo stick in position those stitches will hold it and it'll get easier as you go along you haven't really got to hold on to the bamboo stick as well so we're going to do this all the way across the bottom of the wall hanging now it is fiddly but trust me it's a lot fiddlier doing it at arm's length underneath the camera so if i can do it then you can do it Now that we have attached one stick, we can now look towards half double crocheting up the side of the wall hanging. So we're going to chain three, and we'll turn so then we can get across, and then we're going to half double crochet in that first gap there. Now we're going to go into alternate gaps, because if you go into too many, then the backing is going to start to crinkle up, so you want to space them out and do every other gap that you come across.
Hopefully you watched the section before you started it as I had advised. It isn't the end of the world if you didn't. But now we have reached the top, you can decide whether or not you want to add writing to your wall hanging or leave it just as the beautiful Katerina. I haven't got enough space to add writing so I will add a few more rows to make this possible. Having done this I will mark out the spacing for my writing. I have allowed myself to have two rows of writing, each letter having five rows and then two rows in between the lines and then three rows at the top and three rows at the bottom which means I'll need 18 rows in total. Now that I am happy that I have enough rows to do this, I will return to my hook, hopefully positioned on the right hand side, and I will now add my second bamboo stick. Don't worry about the gap on the side, we can return to this after. So we're going to chain three, we're going to yarn over and insert into the next stitch. Now you can always put the bamboo stick on top of the yarn as well. And so you can yarn over and pull through the top part. As long as you're incorporating it into the stitch one way or another. So we're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over and pull through. Okay, and again we're going to do this all the way across. It is fiddly, but it's worth doing. Okay, and as we come to the end, we're going to chain three. And we're going to half double crochet in the next stitch down the side. And then in every other gap we're going to half double crochet so we're going to skip a gap and then go into the next one if we do too many then we're going to bunch up the back panel okay and you're going to do that all the way to the bottom okay and at that last stitch we're just going to tie off. Returning to the gap that we left before, we're just going to slip knot and join in that half double crochet that we left off on. Okay and then we're going to half double crochet again in those little gaps just to sort of make it neater and complete the border. Okay and you should have something which looks a bit like this. Before you start adding any writing I would mark out where your lines will be. So counting three lines at the bottom, five rows for your bottom line, two rows for the gap in between, and then the five rows for the first line. Once you're happy with your spacing, use a contrasting colour from your backing and get writing. And there you have your finished wall hanging, ready for every Halloween. I really hope you like this pattern as much as I enjoyed making it. Please subscribe and share with friends, and if you wish to see more of my Halloween decorations, feel free to browse my channel and you'll find 13 small patterns to follow, as well as a plethora of other step-by-step -step video tutorials I've created, as well as a how to crochet series for beginners. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here soon. Goodbye.